Today we will be doing problem number 37 from homework 1 which says an opera singer in a convertible sings a note at 600 hertz while cruising down the highway at 90 kilometers per hour. What is the frequency heard by A. A person standing beside the road in front of the car and B. A person on the ground behind the car. So first we start by writing our known variables. We have F0 or an initial frequency of 600 hertz. We know the speed of sound as it travels in air which is 343 meters per second and we are also given the velocity of our source which in this case is 90 kilometers per hour which is the rate at which the singer is traveling across the highway but this is in kilometers per hour instead of our standard units meters per second so we like to convert this first we do that by multiplying by a thousand meters per kilometer which gives us 90 thousand meters per hour. Now we divide this by 60 minutes per hour in order to get 1500 meters per minute. And again we divide this by 60 seconds per minute in order to get standard units of the velocity which is now 25 meters per second. So now that we know the velocity of our source we can move on to doing the problems. So number or problem A was finding uh, the frequency heard by a person standing on the ground behind the car. I mean, oh, sorry, on the ground behind the car. On the ground in front of the car, sorry. So we denote this by saying the frequency heard by a person in front of the car of sub plus is equal to the initial frequency over 1 minus the velocity of the source divided by the velocity of air or of, or of sound in air. So now since we have a formula, we just plug our known values into the formula. So we get initial frequency, which is 600 hertz over 1 minus velocity of the source, which we found to be in standard units 25 meters per second, divided by the speed of sound in air, which is 343 meters per second. Our units cancel out on the bottom, and after we do the math, we are left with 650 hertz, which is the frequency heard by a person in front of the car. Now we move on to part B, which is the frequency of the sound heard by somebody behind the car. In this case, we denote behind the car with an F sub minus is equal to our initial frequency over 1 plus the velocity of our source divided by the velocity of sound in air. Now again, we just plug our known values in, which is 600 hertz on top for initial or initial frequency over 1 plus velocity of the source, which is 25 meters per second over 343 meters per second. Again, our, our units cancel on the bottom, we are left with hertz, which mm -hmm. equals 560 hertz after doing the math. So now we know that for part A, a person standing in front of the car, here's a frequency of 650 hertz instead of the initial 600, and a person behind the car, here's a frequency of 560 hertz as opposed to 600 initially, which makes sense because as the car approaches you, you will hear a, a higher frequency, and the car just leaves or is driving away from you, you will hear a lower frequency.